Today I'm welcoming Wendy from The Mummy Chef into my kitchen and she has brought a recipe that I'm really excited to make. So what are we making? We are making date, zucchini and carrot muffins. Yum. Thank you for having me. Oh, pleasure. Welcome. I can't wait for you to show me how to make this because it looks like it's going to be a quick and easy go-to recipe, which I love. And I love yeah. collecting recipes Perfect. that I love. Yeah. Um, and yeah, let's get started. What I really love about this recipe is it's great for children and for adults alike. Um, it makes a really nutritious breakfast on the go, morning or afternoon tea, and it's perfect for lunch boxes because it's nut free and it's full of fiber and lots of nutrients for the kids as well as hidden veg. So we all know that vegetables are sometimes quite hard to get into our kids. So true. This is a really good one. Yes, and you're a dietitian and nutritionist. Dietitian and nutritionist, that's right. So obviously, you know, health and getting vegetables into my children is obviously a priority and something that I do struggle with myself. Mm -hmm. um, so we all do. We all do. I get a lot of messages about yeah. that. How do you get your kids to eat veggies? Um, so this is a really good idea to hide them in yeah. to an everyday Snap. Over here we've got a cup of grated carrot. Over here is sifted 240 grams of self-raising flour, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Over here we've got 90 grams of melted butter, 240 grams of chopped dates. Over here is half a cup of brown sugar, but you could use less. This is one cup of grated zucchini and two eggs lightly beaten. Half a cup of milk. So um, We've got fresh dates here, but you could just use the packet dates that you find in the supermarket aisle. Um, they are sort of much more affordable at around $2 a packet and they really give a great result as well and they're easier to chop because they're not quite as sticky. All in one bowl, which is what I love, and most of my recipes are all in one bowl because it's less cleaning up in the end. Um, so let's do it. Okay, so pop the, uh, some of the dry ingredients in first. Yep. And the sugar. Now this is half a cup, but I'm actually gonna put a bit less in. We'll just we'll halve that, so it's a quarter of a cup. Yep. The dates provide beautiful sweetness to this, so really, you could almost leave the sugar out altogether if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, now we're going to pop the carrot and the zucchini, if you want to pop the zucchini in for me. So, are there any other vegetables that we could substitute the carrot and zucchini with or add? Yeah, so you could, as long as you've got the quantities the same, so mm -hmm. one cup, so two cups combined of vegetables, you could do something like sweet potato mm -hmm. or pumpkin mm -hmm. or, you know, any other vegetables that you wanted to sneak in. The dates are going in. I love dates. Okay, so we'll just give that a quick stir. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to get wrong, this recipe. Great. Looks good already. <laughs> Yeah, and do you know what I love about this? There's no cheese <laughs> fiber in them. Yeah, so look, already they're a very high fiber muffin. Mm -hmm. um, you can sort of tweak the ingredients a little bit um, by putting in some chia seeds if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, that'll increase the fiber content more, but it also adds some other sort of micronutrients, so the omega-3s and a bit more protein, yep. um, and a few other goodies for the kids as well. So I just wanted to show you here um, how fine we could get the vegetables chopped just using a hand um, grater. So you can see here this is probably a better consistency if you were wanting to hide the vegetables from your kids. Yeah. Okay, so the, <laughs> the ones that I did were okay for kids that are happy to eat veggies and adults, I suppose. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to start using the smaller um, grate. We've shown the example of it being really grated finely, really fine, and then <laughs> my version, um, which we can't wait to eat basically. So we're putting it in the oven for how long and on what temp? So 220 degrees for 20 minutes. It cooks really quickly. 20 minutes? Yeah. Oh, very fast. So good. Yeah. So 
What you could also add on the top um, is some pepitas or uh, pumpkin seeds just to add, you know, a bit of extra nutrition. And that would also mean that it's nut free. So yes. you could include those in the school lunch box with some seeds on the top. Beautiful.